everyone, it's Rachel or Rabbit Cat Forever here with the Small and Furry. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about Easter and the Easter bunnies. Most people think of rabbits as easy going pets, which isn't the case. Therefore, they give rabbits out as Easter presents for young children. Trust me, this is a very big mistake, and I'm going to be explaining why in this video. So, I hope you stay tuned for the rest of the video and learn something new. Remember this Easter not to purchase live chicks for Easter bunnies. Even though it's not normally the chicks that seem to be the problem, I'm looking more along the lines of cute fluffy bunnies that people misjudge. Let me explain why. Importance and hard work of owning a rabbit. Considering I've owned rabbits for five years now, from my experience I can tell you that they're quite a handful. They need to be fed fresh vegetables and hay every single day, not just a refillable bowl of pellets or muesli. They need to be groomed alongside having their nails clipped every month, not to mention at least one yearly vet check every year to make sure they're in good health, just like cats and dogs. That's alongside their weekly checkups that I definitely recommend you give your rabbit just in case you spot any signs of illness in your rabbit. Rabbits can also develop chronic health conditions that require years of special care, not to mention how they can live up to 10 years when treated correctly with love and affection. And 10 years is a very long time and you do need to be prepared to give up 10 years of your life for a rabbit and not just a few months until your child gets bored. People need to realise that rabbits are not toys to be set up in a young child's room and only to come out when the child feels like playing with it. The rabbit needs a family to live with who loves them, not to mention how the rabbit will also need to play and be by themselves, so they're going to need a lot of space for that too. Rabbits aren't always cuddly and don't like to be hauled around. Rabbits can become frightened when held or confronted by prey animals like the family cat or dog. Rabbits will need to be spayed or neutered and this can cost from around 60 to 100 pounds depending where you go. That's not including stuff like vaccinations. Not forgetting special diets and housing needs. You can't just lock your rabbit up in a tiny hutch or day on end. They will need a large area to live, being able to stretch their hind legs and hop around freely from one end of the hutch to the other. Let's begin with the Easter story. There's no story in the Bible about a long-eared, cotton-tailed creature known as the Easter Bunny. Neither is there a passage about young children painting eggs or hunting for baskets overflowing with scrumptious Easter goodies. And for starters, real rabbits certainly don't lay eggs. Bunnies, eggs, Easter gifts and fluffy yellow chicks all stem from pagan roots. These were incorporated into the celebration of Easter separately from the Christian tradition, which was honouring the day Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Spring was related to Jesus Christ rising from the dead, since spring also symbolised new life and rebirth and fertility. And since rabbits also symbolised fertility, they were compared. However, the first Easter Bunny legend was documented in the 1500s and by the 1680s, the first story about a rabbit laying eggs and hiding them in a garden was published. And apparently, these legends were brought to the United States in the 1700s when German immigrants settled in Pennsylvania. The tradition of making nests for the rabbits to lay its eggs soon followed. Eventually, nests became decorated baskets and colourful eggs were swapped for candy, treats and other small gifts. Although in some cases, it seems to be some people prefer giving their children real pet bunnies instead of chocolate bunnies for Easter. Mistreated and abandoned Easter bunnies. Every year, thousands of tiny baby rabbits are purchased for Easter gifts. Towards the end of February, pet stores are all geared up for Easter. Backyard breeders are also ready to make their money, offering these baby bunnies in yard sales and flea markets. Most of the time, these rabbits are poorly bred, and in some cases, they can become sick and can normally die. It's sad to know that many people don't take the time to spend doing just a little research about rabbits before buying what they seem to think is a cute fluffy bunny. You see, after this baby bunny has finished growing, it won't be that cute little fuzzy rabbit that you found in the backyard of a breeder's house that Easter morning. It will be a fully grown rabbit that may care come back when treated incorrectly. Rabbits require just as much work as a cat or dog and have high social needs and often want another rabbit as a companion. People decide to abandon their bunny outside in the streets when it becomes too much for them. I don't see why people can't seem to realise what they're doing to this poor bunny's life. Pet rabbits that we have as pets today are domestic rabbits. Unlike wild rabbits, they cannot survive on their own and will die when left out on the streets on their own. 
Predators will come and find them and attack them. Many abandoned rabbits end up dying unless they're lucky enough to be found and have a shot to find their place. At the least, deep down in your heart, you could surely have the guts to find them a space in a rescue centre. I mean, do you really expect your poor bunny to find its way there on its own? Because I'm very sure it won't. Most abandoned rabbits that turn up at shelters have suffered from attacks by one or many number of predator animals, leaving them traumatised and terrified. Rabbits are natural prey animals and can't fight on their own. Shelters don't only take in abandoned rabbits though. You also end up having mistreated and injured rabbits come in. They most often need medical care immediately and it's then when they begin to trust humans again because they're cared for and loved for. However, you can't expect shelters to possibly care for the hundreds of abandoned rabbits that come in each year. I mean, especially not after Easter. Not to mention overpopulated shelters and rescues, especially at this time of the year. Dear breeders, one female can produce up to 12 babies in 28 days. Then, the minute she gives birth, she can again become pregnant. The cycle of overpopulation is extremely serious. Please do not add to the situation by breeding your rabbits. You may think you can find homes for all these bunnies you breed, but you cannot assure that. You are also adding to the number of rabbits out in the community, many that will be dumped. Not to mention that in addition to this, this can become very hard on the female rabbit to keep breeding and breeding over and over again. It's recommended that you spay your female rabbit at six months of age and that you house the female completely separately from a male until done so. Spaying your bunny will also prevent it from uterine cancer in females. This year, please do not add to the critical problem of rabbit dumping and Easter purchasing. To make a difference, people should be encouraged to provide chocolate bunnies or cuddly plush toys to their children this Easter so that real bunnies can have a happy Easter too. There's a very good saying going around and I have noticed on a few people's videos. The saying goes, you wouldn't buy your child a reindeer at Christmas, so why would you buy them a bunny at Easter? I think this is a very good type of little saying, which I think people should most definitely share around. Think, is a rabbit the right pet for you before you go ahead with the idea? So that's basically it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new about Easter and Easter bunnies. Don't forget to rate this video before you go and leave a comment in the description. It would also mean a lot if you could maybe share this video around on Twitter or Facebook or any other social network site really. The reason for this is because if people knew what they were doing to these bunnies every Easter then I'm sure they wouldn't go ahead with the idea of buying rabbits as Easter presents. Rabbits do live up to 10 years which is a very long time and unfortunately more children do lose interest of rabbits quite quickly. So please share this video around so hopefully lots of people can watch this video and understand why rabbits are not good Easter presents. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video soon. Bye!